In part four, we're going to add validators to our ASP.NET file so that we do not allow edits to company ID. On insert, we require our company ID. On insert, validate email address format. And on edit update, validate the email address format. Disallow changes to the company ID. Let's go into our default.aspx file and we will delete this template field for the company ID and just make it a bound field. And make it read only. So you see whenever you run it and you select edit, it's not editable. In the code behind, we need to make modifications to the row updating. text and the road deleting so let's test and make sure that our row updating and row deleting are still working let's edit Still worked. Let's delete. And it worked. Let's go to our default.aspx file and require that a company ID is provided during insert. So let's go table row. Table cell. Do this because there's four cells. Okay. Call it ASP required field validator ID equals company ID text box required field validator run at equal server control to validate equals company ID text box error message equals a company ID is required. Let's run it. Add company, leave the company ID blank, add a company ID is required. Next, let's validate on insert if the email address is valid or not. So, ASP regular expression validator ID equals company email text box regular expression validator run it server control to validate equals company email text box validate expression equals dot star at dot star slash dot dot star Error 
error message equals email address is not valid. So let's run it. Let's add 11, 1, 2, 3. Let's put 1, 2, 3. Up. The email address is not valid. Let's put 1, 2, 3 at 33.net, 1500, and add. And there it is. So let's add that same validation when it's being edited. So let's go to this to this location. Let's add a break. And then we'll add the same ASP regular expression validator ID equals edit company email text box regular expression validator control control to validate equals edit company email text box validation equals error message equals email address is not valid invalid run at equal server and let's run it say so it's that email address is invalid in conclusion, we reused lots of what we created in Lesson 1. We enhanced the look and feel of a grid view using ASP.NET. We inserted data into a grid view with an AJAX modal using ASP.NET and c -sharp. We added and updated, deleted, and filtered grid view data using ASP.NET and c -sharp. And we added required for validator and regular expression validator to the ASP.NET.